The Alhambra in Grenada is the most visited tourist attraction in Spain, with around 3 million visitors per year. A new exhibition has just opened here called Owen Jones and the Alhambra, Islamic design, discovery and vision. He was such an important figure for the development of design reform and education in 19th century England. And what I found particularly fascinating about his work was his fascination and interest in Islamic design and using Islamic design to find an inspiration and a new direction for Victorian design. Owen Jones was inspired by the Islamic ornaments which he studied during two visits to the Alhambra in 1834 and 1837. Most of the works in the exhibition come from the Victoria and Albert Museum in London. Uh, the access was uh, quite difficult getting into the building. Uh, that was quite unusual. Um, the craning the crates through the window into the exhibition area was quite uh, nerve-wracking to watch. Uh, but the technicians dealt with it very well, very professionally. They knew what they were doing. The exhibition area is divided into four, separated by three colours, blue, golden yellow and red. The colours were chosen because they were the main colours Owen Jones used in his works and because they're also the main colours of the Alhambra itself. The colours are essential in this exhibition. The red, the blue and this kind of gold are the colours we see in Owen Jones's work and in his drawings, because they're also inspired by the colours of the Alhambra. That's the key, how the colour creates in this case a rhythm and a narrative sequence. Before hanging the works, any little repairs that are needed are carried out. The exhibition includes photos, vases, glazed ceramics, books and paintings. This is one of the Crystal Palace in London. Jones was responsible for the decoration of the palace and the arrangement of the exhibits at the Great Exhibition in 1851. The Alhambra has added pieces to this exhibition to help sharpen Owen Jones's special vision. The Alhambra pieces allow us to pick up a dialogue with him, to understand Jones in 1834 looking at those spaces, comparing himself with other travellers who'd seen the same things from different points of view. That's the Alhambra's contribution. All sorts of exhibits are included. Drawings, silks, watercolour reproductions of the Alhambra and Jones's most seminal work, The Grammar of Ornament, a book detailing his theory of ornamentation. For us, the most important thing about this exhibition at the Alhambra is the fact that we feel like Owen Jones has come back to the Alhambra for the first time since 1834. Um, when he first visited the Alhambra and was so inspired that it totally transformed his whole attitude to design. Owen Jones's work side by side with the work that inspired him in the first place. So it's very, very happy. We're very happy to be here. The exhibition runs until the 28th of February and then it will be transferred from Spain to the United Arab Emirates.